Saved by De Gea. That was a big chance. It was a flick on the front post. And De Gea makes a, well look like a decent save. Another cross comes in. And that's bloody 1-1. One, one. That's 1-1. One, one. What? Every bloody time this happens. Every time this happens. How has that happened? They nearly score from one cross. De Gea. No wonder De Gea won't sign a new contract. Why would you sign a new contract? The cross comes in. He makes a great save. Then another cross comes in and he's got a free fucking header. It's a joke. Absolute joke. Absolute joke. It's like Wolverhampton Wanderers, the Poundland version. We're 1-0 up at half time. We're comfortable. We come out in the second half and we're lazy again. And it's Lindelof again. I mean, look, to be honest with you, that guy's a big guy. It's the one who belongs in a Halloween film. But Lindelof, it's a mismatch. It's an absolute mismatch. And... God, it's so bloody frustrating. So frustrating. The Titanic set sail from Southampton and United's game is sinking. Uh, is there a connection? I don't know. But it's the same old story. We've got that game in our hands at half time. It's there in our bloody hands. You know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. A team is going to come out second half and try harder. And we just do the same old crap. There's no, there's no going through the gears. There's no change at half time. Everybody knows it. I was managing United Stand the other day with Rants. We were one nil up at half time, and we said first ten minutes they're going to come out because they don't just go into the half time. They don't go into the dressing room and just sit there and have a cup of coffee and watch a bit of Neighbours. They'll be spoken to by their manager who will see what's gone wrong in the first half and say, change this, change that, put better balls into the box. Then they go out and do it. But United think, oh, everything's going to be the same. Ridiculous. Absolutely bloody ridiculous. And that's a goal. That's a shit goal. That is a shit goal to concede. That is an awful goal to concede. It's a corner routine. It's basics. It's absolutely basics. The Wolves have come out of the kennel and they've bitten back. Rabies. I tell you what, that is absolutely shit defending from United. It's a set it's a it's one of those ones, you know, where you get done by a routine off the playground. Like, he's knocked it short, he's knocked it back, he's drilled it across the edge of the box, and a player's had time to control it, and it's a great finish. It's a great finish, but he's got acres on the edge of the box. It's basic, absolute basics. And what a waste of time. So De Gea can do nothing, but who's got the man on the edge of the box? Oh, it's a great finish. It's a great finish. It's a great finish, but... Wolves bite back. He's missed it. He's bloody missed it. Oh, for God's sake. Why couldn't Rashford take it? Why are we, pa why are we changing penalty takers around? Like, what, this is amateur. This is like pub football. Oh, you won it so you can bloody take it. Rashford took a brilliant penalty the other day. And we've let Pogba take the penalty. I don't agree with that. I'm sorry. Call me a, call me a stooge. Call me an obed. I don't really care what you say. Why is Rashford not taking the penalty? Like, Rashford scored it last week against Chelsea. And we're doing this stupid, bloody... Oh, how do you want to do it? How do you want to do it? Oli needs to step up there. Oli needs to step up and be bloody firm. We've got a penalty taker. Rashford scored last week. Rashford should have took the bloody penalty. I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that at all around that tonight how am i supposed to go on with football this season after that we are not even had our first breath in this season and the season screwed like seriously like last season we were we lost to cardiff at home and it was like oh we want to become you'll be surprised at the quality of player that wants to come to this club oh this players i'll be here but these players that won't be here oh we've been running around perth we've been running around singapore we've been running around Beijing. And, and we're, the intensity's there. We're really happy with the summer that we've got. We've pulled the wool over your eyes about a shit transfer window because everything's positive. Everybody's high-fiving on the, on the bloody training pitch. Everybody's really happy. You're going to see a really different Manchester United. I ain't seen nothing new. I've seen nothing new. Absolutely nothing new. It's the same old shit. It's the same crap selections. It's the same tactical exposure. It's the same players it's the same manager and it's the same board inflicting poison on our eyes and it's got to stop and how will it stop i don't know how it stops but i'm bloody furious and this is not about ranting for ranting's sake this is not about oh you're not a real fan win lose and or draw stick together this is 
bullshit. I was surprised that United fans booed at the end of the game. But actually, why the hell should they not? What, what, are, we, what are we actually not going to boo for? Oh, Ollie needs time. Oh, these young lads need time. Who needs time? He's been here for eight months. That summer was not good enough, and we know it wasn't good enough. We knew that midfield wasn't good enough. Ander Herrera was our second best midfielder. They didn't even bloody replace him. Like, attackers have gone for 70 million. They've not been replaced. But before we talk about the board, because we all know about the bloody board, I've got to say, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer exposed, exposed, exposed. I said on fr on Wednesday, I'm not a bloody manager of football. You're not a manager of football. I haven't got the coaching badges. I'm not an ex-professional footballer. A video went up on this channel on Wednesday. Five things Ole Gunnar Solskjaer must change immediately to sort this season out. And I had people in the comments saying, oh, how sad's this? Criticising Ollie already. Three days later, we lose to Crystal Palace at Old Trafford for the first time in our bloody Premier League history. Newcastle, pass one. Oh no! Bloody no! I can't believe it! It's the bloody Ginger Longstaff! It's his younger brother! I can't believe it! What are we doing? How has that gone in? You've bantered me! You've bloody bantered me! They wear black and white because they're a zebra crossing. It's an easy path to three points. What have we done? What have we bloody done? It's the B-Tech Longstaff as well. It's not even the one we wanted to buy. It's M Longstaff. I don't even know his first bloody name. Oh, for God's sake, United. You start. This is it. He'll never attack again. He's never going to attack again. He's never going to attack again because we try and win the game and then we go and bloody let a goal in. There's plenty of people back. Why... Whoa, Jesus Christ, we've got about seven people back. This is a joke, absolute joke. You know what? If we lose this game and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer gets tactically masterminded by Steve Bloody Bruce, it's like losing a game of hide and seek to Stevie Wonder. He's crap, absolutely crap. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Newcastle have scored a goal against Manchester United. I can't believe it. I don't even have a one. I don't even have a one to put next to Newcastle. I was like, don't worry about it, Drawty. We won't need any numbers for the Newcastle game. And we're one nil down. Oh, for God's sake. Deepak Saha commands as he attempted to remove the hand. There's a mistake here. It's a Bamiyang. It's one bloody offside. He's offside. Yes. Sit down, Arsenal. You thought you'd done it. They're all bloody celebrating. Get your bloody tape on your seat, the AFT boys, because you've got to sit down. Glue in your pants. It's a it's Twan Sebi with the mistake. Lindelof doesn't read it. He's onside. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to get done by VAR. He's miles on. He's absolutely miles on. They're going to VAR this. They're going to VAR it. It's, he's bloody miles on. He's bloody miles on, isn't he? For fuck's sake. Now I'm going to look a right prat. VAR's done me again like it did on FIFA 19. It's a goal. It's a bloody goal. Bloody hell, I knew it. I bloody knew it. What a twat. Bloody hate VAR. I bloody hate VAR. You make me mug Arsenal off going, ah, sit down, you haven't scored. And it's a bloody goal. So not only, you, you couldn't even bloody write it. You couldn't write it. You could not write it. Absolute joke. We don't get a penalty because of v because they don't use VAR. And then they get a bloody goal through VAR. You couldn't believe it. You can't bloody believe it. And Twan Sebi is the one who makes the mistake. Yarmolenko. Is it a goal? It's bloody giving it a goal as well. What the bloody hell is going on? Hammered. Absolutely bloody hammered. This has been coming. This has been bloody coming like a steam train. I cannot believe it. We are 1-0 down. 1-0 down to bloody West Ham. A club that sings a song about sexual activity with Michael Jackson's ex-monkey. And we are 1-0 down. He's got to be offside. He's not offside. He's onside. Bloody hell. Maguire's got to get closer than that. 1-0. It's not... Oh, you know what? Defensively, this is this is a, this is atrocious. This is bloody atrocious. We're meant to be better, better than this. Get the rhubarb out because we need an apple crumble. That's crumble defence. It's crap. 
Absolutely crap. Maguire's got to be a lot closer than that. Who's gone with the runner? Ashley Young, that's your man. Yabba dabba do. Or yabba dabba don't. 1 0 down. All that defensive play to let a shit goal in like that. Crap. Absolutely crap. You know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely. That. You can't. And look, all the bloody bubbles on the pitch now. Blow, blow me. Blow me. You could just tweak that system. You know, to totally change it is crazy. Oh, what a bloody goal by West Ham. And that's it. It's gone. Cresswell, free kick, top corner. When you're down, you're down. When you're hammered, you're hammered. And look, I, I tell you what, there's not a lot we can Brutal. say about that. It was just absolutely a superb free kick. Um, these things happen. It know? is, but well, we shouldn't be in this position where we're 1-0 down to 2-0 to, to down to lose it. This is ridiculous. It's, well, it's gone, isn't it? That's it. It's gone. You know, make your excuses for Solskjaer if you want now, but it's gone. It's a it's a good free kick. I don't think De Gea can get anywhere near it. It's up and over the wall. It's it's well hit. He's diving at full stretch. Um, that's it. Three points gone. Manchester United losing to West Ham.